Hi, my name is Ilma and today I'd like to share 1 John 2, 25-29. This is a promise which He Himself made to us, eternal life. These things I have written to you concerning those who are trying to deceive you. As for you, the anointing which you will receive from Him abides in you, and you have no need for anyone to teach you. But as His anointing teaches you about all things, and is true, and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, abide in Him. Now, little children, abide in Him so that when He appears, we may have confidence and not shrink away from Him in shame at His coming. If you know that He is righteous, you know that everyone also who practices righteousness is born of Him. 1 John 2, 25-29 Here's my devotional. The promise keeper and eternal life. Has anyone made you a promise and never kept it? How did that make you feel? What does that do to your heart? Aren't you glad that John couldn't stop emphasizing the promise of eternal life in this account? Jesus himself promised eternal life. It is an open invitation to all those who believe in him and follow him. It is up to you if you want to receive the promise. Jesus keeps his promises. He is a God and not a liar. He only speaks of truth. This letter of John is a warning to the believers. They need to be wary of those who deceive others. He reassures those who belong to Christ of their anointing and wisdom. John admonishes us to stay in truth and never believe lies and to always abide in Jesus. When we stay focused on Jesus, we begin to discern spiritual things and have wisdom and confidence that only comes from knowing Him. As we develop a hunger, uh, a hunger to get intimate with Jesus, <clears throat> we begin to recognize His sovereignty and power. We learn to make it about Him and not about us. He is the only one who has the dominion over us. But He also gave us a will and wants us to exercise it, to choose and commit to Him alone. God keeps His promises, unlike many humans. He never lies. He is not like humans. Sadly, many of us try to give human attributes to God. We treat Him like one of us. He is above us and all things. So why do we constantly doubt that He is true to His promises? Sinfulness entered God's creation when Adam and Eve trusted a serpent instead of trusting God, who have provided everything that they need. They were deceived by the counterfeit, whose only purpose is to tell lies and make people turn their backs to God. The purpose of creation is to give God the glory, but the goal of Satan is to destroy that desire for us to commit to God and give Him all the praise. Instead, Satan wants us to focus on the self so we can forget God's promise of eternal life. Reflection. What promises of God do you keep on standing on? The, the, thing, the promise that I always remember is that He's... He's always with me, and He's always with those who love Him, and that He protects them no matter what, and not a single bone is broken to all those who love Him. And He has all these angels around and camp to those who love Him. So I always, uh, um, I always focus on that, especially, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, Especially when things, when there's spiritual battle going on. Just like today, I just had a battle. I've, I, I got distracted and I didn't wear the armor of God this morning. And boom, in just a few seconds, I was a uh, victim to the assigned uh, <clears throat> tactic of the enemy. But I kept standing on God's promise and I rebuked it and it... Um, didn't have any effect on me anymore because as long as we 
we follow the word, we follow the Lord, and we are able to uh, recognize the spiritual attacks that is going through us. That's the only way we know how to stand on this truth and um, allow the Holy Spirit to control us instead of our flesh. So, <clears throat> are you a promise keeper? Look up to God who is the only keeper of promises and He never breaks them. So, be like God. Keep your promises and make sure that you focus on Him alone. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day. Mm-hmm.